Yo, welcome to the video, it's DK The Saint. Today we're watching How We Ruin Our 20s. Fucking interesting video, you feel me? It, sound, it sounds interesting at least, you know, like, is this nigga gonna be yapping or is he gonna be spitting facts, you know what I'm saying? Let's get straight into it, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right, the there. 20s, an interval of time often described as the most beautiful, but I believe that statement is incorrect. The 20s are best okay. described as the most memorable interval of our lives, and for many of us, the most True. challenging. Although the term 20s typically refers to ages 20 to 29, I think it's more accurate to say that, for many people, their 20s actually begins around 17 or 18 years old. It's during this That's time yeah. that you often you get your first about? job, experience your first serious relationships, and most importantly, their first moments of realizing that adult life isn't as beautiful. I'm automatically not locked in. Can't relate, nigga. Beautiful okay. as many people had previously Bam, portrayed. Really it's common to feel unprepared for this transition from teen to adult as factual, society factual. often glamorizes youth while neglecting to portray the challenges that come with adulthood. We're taught to expect that once we finish school or reach a certain age, life will automatically be great. But eventually, reality sets in. That's After cat. a few parties or weeks of hanging out, you start to notice that things aren't really going as planned. What's next? You start to ask yourself, attempting to find an answer to what you want to do with your life, or more challenging, what your purpose in life is. For these kinds of questions, it's almost impossible to find answers when you're young. Oh, on, Others, who are much older, may offer suggestions, but do they really know what you want or what your purpose is? No. That's why you end up going to university, even if you never really wanted to go, and pursuing a degree that you never want to use in your life. That's also why you end up working two or three bad jobs at the same time, which can really mess with your mental health. Of course, it would be easier if there He's was a trusted right route to happiness or a goal assigned to you from the moment you were born. However, these people who seem to have been born with a clear goal likely had it placed in their minds by their parents. But what if they never truly wanted to pursue that goal? I believe it's important fuck? to discover what we love on our own, regardless of how difficult it may be. In the end, you'll know for certain that it's your genuine desire and exactly what you like. We don't have time to make decisions or figure out what we truly enjoy. At age 17, you're already choosing which industry to pursue at university. By the time we finish university around age 22, we're expected to immediately find a job, hopefully related to our degree. Sadly, it's usually only around age 21 or 22 that we start to understand our true passions and desires in life. This realization often comes far too late. We may have found what we love, but what nah, about all the time? Nah, nah, see, that's the app right there. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. As long as you is not... Matter of fact, fuck that. It's never too late, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? That's facts right there, bro. Like, what the fuck? Nigga said 22. You're gonna realize your purpose, but it's too late. What the fuck? Nigga, that's yeah. What Time and fuck? money spent on 22, university by your parents. 23, even 25. That's not even that old, my nigga. You're, you're mid 25s. You're not even in your prime yet, brother. You still got five years before you hit your prime. Like, what are you talking about? Niggas we start yapping. to prioritize what's best for others rather than ourselves. Did I really spend all this time for no reason? Usually, mm. after asking such questions, okay, people okay. forget their true interests and try to build a career based on the degree they received. Mm, My facts. unpopular opinion is, I think it would be better for most people to take a one or two year break after finishing facts. school before going to that's university. The, that's the, that's this time can be that's used best, to understand what you do. really like and need. Of course, that time may still not be enough to fully understand yourself, but you'll likely make a better choice than you would after graduation. This video will most likely be named across the lines of something like, how to waste your 20s. So I'll provide main reasons how people uh, waste their 20s and how to avoid them. The first point is that you need to I'm be ready to fail. Them. The number of failures that await you in your 20s will likely exceed the number of successes. Many you people say that your 20s failing. are a time for making mistakes, and I agree with that. You're just starting out in almost every important aspect of your life, from relationships to your interests. You've already made a lot of mistakes, and you'll continue to do so in the future. Yeah, he's the hating, worst though. thing I'm you can do is hide from Why are you hating on the 20s? to avoid making any mistakes. You need to be ready to make them and accept that mistakes nah, are nah, important nah, nah, for nah, your nah, character nah, nah. building. Second one is the real shit though. Sometimes mistakes can really ruin your life, my nigga. You gotta you gotta avoid mistakes. You don't wanna do a mistake on purpose. No, not on purpose. You can't be like, you see a mistake happening and you're like, fuck it. Let me just make it happen. Let me, let me build my character. Nice your beat, bro. What are you talking about, bro? If you can avoid a mistake, bro, avoid it. The, the lack fuck? of motivation. That's this can app. stem from various reasons, such it's as a whole having bunch of high expectations yap, that don't match reality or being convinced that you won't succeed, no matter okay. how hard you try. Regardless oh, of the reason, gonna... motivation okay. is crucial for fueling ourselves and mm -hmm. achieving our goals. Without That's it, facts. we might end up stuck in one place for too long. You if I'm be being talking, honest, bro. motivation is something that doesn't even exist. It's more about your personality and how you react to certain events in your life. Everyone struggles to find the strength to do something at times. But Best you facts. can't let that go on forever. 
once you understand why you lack mm. motivation he's, and what you he's can do spitting to right it, now niggas need to write this shit down what motivation even is third one is wrong goal setting i believe there's no one size fits all strategy for setting goals it's mm. individual and depends on what you want from life but what i can say for sure is that That's having facts. any goal is better than having no goal at all when you have a goal you mm. spend less time thinking about motivation and more time focusing on how to achieve it however choosing a goal isn't the hard part the challenge lies in making a plan to reach it. At this stage, people sometimes choose the wrong path. Facts, While most bro. can easily imagine See, the I'm a lazy goal, they struggle to envision no the steps leading up to it. So when setting a goal, it's essential to also create a step-by-step <laughs> -step plan on how to reach it. Without it, it will be more challenging to reach your goal. Structuring is also a very good skill to learn, which I recommend you start doing right now. To show yes. how these reasons can ruin your 20s, I thought for about 20 minutes about which fictional character could represent this the best. In my mind, no character seemed more fitting than Squidward. Squidward is undoubtedly Facts. the That's most actually a depressing good character in the entire Spongebob universe. Yeah. His character embodies even more reasons for how we ruin our lives, but I've already discussed them in a recent video. Now, I'll focus on the main reasons I mentioned earlier. Squidward, Squidward had dreams of becoming a professional musician and spent most of his youth in music classes. However, after one unsuccessful performance, Squidward was completely mm -hmm. devastated. After just one failure, he decided to give up on his goal, avoiding any future chances of reaching it to escape future failures. Yeah. He began losing motivation vision to do anything and ended up at his hated job Yo, just really remember SpongeBob about his failed aspirations. That's crazy. Squidward's lifelong dream failed because he didn't understand that behind the glamorous image of a musician lies it's hard failing. work, mm -hmm. numerous oh, rejections, gosh. and yeah, failures yeah. for which he wasn't prepared. Facts. As a result, Squidward found himself stuck in his hated job, surrounded by people he despised with all his heart. In conclusion, I want to emphasize that TikTok or any other platform isn't truly destroying our lives. TikTok is simply a tool for spending time like any other activity. You can spend two or three hours a day on TikTok if you really want to. This video isn't about extreme self-improvement trends seen on YouTube where you're told to delete TikTok to become better. It's a video about you and how you approach life. None of us were prepared for what your 20s had in store, but there's no point in trying to escape all the problems that arise as you grow up. As soon as you start to face though. them and look for solutions, these problems won't seem as daunting as they do now. No matter how successful some people may seem, they likely made more mistakes than many others combined. There's no better time to make mistakes and start working towards your long-held goals. These mistakes will eventually help you reach the goals you've set for yourself as well. I would like to say thank you for watching bro, the whole video. Is, if you found bro, it you just useful, yap you can leave so a like. much, bro. You just said the same shit over and over, my nigga. Holy fuck. You said that shit the whole broken video. But my fault, bro. Keep going. That was a good video, though. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually a pretty good video. If you disagree no with what I said, you can comment under the video. I'm always open to fuck constructive man. criticism after all. And that's it. The end. <laughs> The dark aftermath of TikTok. Fuck. Um, shit. Uh, let me give him a like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He deserves a like for that shit, bro. That's a, that's a decent video, bro. I ain't the gonna 20s. Lie. An interval of. I'm gonna say it, it's like 60% facts, and then he just got a lot of yapping in it. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good, though. If you enjoyed the video, you know what I'm saying? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You know, more videos coming on the way. You know what I'm saying? Might coming on the way type shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know, broski.